Hello everyone, this is AB from abdoeswhat.com, the DIY and lifestyle blog. I'm back here at Home Talks Studios and we are getting ready for back to school. A couple weeks ago I was here and we did some wine craft roundups, but we're going to do some affordable back to school crafts, starting with, we're going to customize some pencils, ooh, just regular pencils, so these are like super cheap. We're gonna customize a pencil bag and we're going to also create a dry erase board calendar with paint chips. These are all things you can get from your dollar store or your local Home Depot. So we're gonna get started. Where is everyone tuning in from? Like we're in New York City. I wanna know where everyone else is tuning from, tuning in from. First, get a pencil, regular pencil, some tape. Break it off. And you're going to mask this part, your eraser, because you don't want to get any paint on there. And the cool thing about customizing your pencils, like, do you remember when you were in school and you let somebody borrow your pencil and guess what happened? You never saw it again because they took your pencil. So we have some people tuning in from Arizona. Hey, Arizona. Upstate New York. Upstate. We're going to do four. You know, four is a nice number of pencils like if someone wears to gift you pencils like what you want for yeah. while she's doing that we do have a giveaway going on today guys yes we do our giveaway question is what is something you've learned recently on home talk let us know in the comments below and you can get an awesome gift from us i will pick a winner at the end this is jordan i will pick a winner at the end and you guys can win a tote bag tote bag yeah, that's great to carry all your back-to-school supplies. I mean, I'm sure some people have already started to go back to school, but everyone hasn't gone back yet, especially in New York. A lot of people are going back after Labor Day. If you're just tuning in, we are doing some customization to our back-to-school crafts, and we're starting off with painting our pencils. You know, tell your pencils apart from everyone else's whether they're yours or for the kiddos or, you know, or just for your office. We have Tammy from Idaho. She learned how to make wreaths on Home Talk. Nice. What kind of wreath did you make? Let's let us know, Tammy. Going to take some white paint, white acrylic craft paint, nothing too fancy. There is no custom uh, paint that's just for pencils. Like, don't... Uh, be fooled just regular craft paint and you're gonna just sponge brush or a regular brush is fine get a coat and let it dry in between coats so we have philly tuning in idaho california hey philly idaho and california i'm just putting this on a piece of paper this is not a special paper it's just to Elevate it a little bit as it dries. I'm going to... How is the weather where you guys are? Today, like summer's back again. Like, you know, summer decides to take disappearing acts every now and then in New York. Like one day it's October, then it is the middle of May and August. It's very hot out. Is anyone having cooler weather out there? I'd be very jealous if you are. But you know, I do like back to school weather. Like fall just like brings me back to, um, cause I went to school, like high school in Connecticut and the New England feel and you know, the, the leaves and just, just feels new. So this is perfect customizing your pencils, your pencil bag. We are also making a dry erase calendar, chip, a uh, paint chip calendar. Say that like six times fast, cause I can't. So as we are painting these, going to let... We have Brazil checking in. Hey Brazil, awesome. Joyce said Ohio is beautiful today, and I saw someone else is having autumn weather. Nice. 
I love autumn weather, but the beginning of autumn. Like not quite Labor Day, but not quite Thanksgiving. You know, so somewhere around Halloween. Okay, going to let this, at least do one, I let it dry a little bit. And we're gonna go on to our pencil bag. Get a regular pencil bag, canvas pencil bag, and we're gonna do a technique called stippling. But first, we're gonna use contact paper, and you can draw any kind of design that you would like. We're gonna just go with a heart, and you may get the size that you would want it to be. So we have international viewers checking in. We have Italy and Norway. Hey, that's awesome. How's the weather over there? All right, going to just, and contact paper, you can, you don't have to necessarily go to an art store to get contact paper. You can go to some supermarkets, some specialty supermarkets, it's shelf liner paper. Or you can go to Home Depot, Lowe's, any local hardware store to get the clear. It's, it can be used as a good stencil because it has adhesive backing. And don't forget to tell us what you guys have learned from Home Talk. I'll be picking a winner at the end. You guys can win an awesome tote bag. I feel like if I was in the comments section, I would have like multiple answers because mm -hmm. there's so many things going on on Home Talk. Like it's buzzing every day, every day. Now I have my heart and I'm just going to peel the backing off and I'm going to just position it anywhere I want, but I'm gonna do here. So I want to do a cool, like, oh, this handwritten heart. So it's not like a fancy heart. Now with stippling, stippling is just using a small surface, like a toothpick or a Q-tip or the bottom of a paintbrush. And you literally just, depending on the widths that you like, you literally just do something like this and you just do dots, right? Now, clearly with a toothpick, it's going to take a long time. So that's why we are going to move up to a Q-tip just to show you the different widths you can do this, right? And you wanna just get on the edge of it, but you can literally stipple anywhere. Can you just remind people what we're making today? Today we are customizing some of our back to school supplies. This is a custom canvas pencil bag. We are also painting our pencils and doing like a watercolor design to them just to set them apart from everyone else's pencils because who wants boring pencils? Like, you know, new year, new you, new pencils. And we are also creating a dry erase board with paint chips. Yes, a picture frame dry erase board. And you can get like all of these things from your local hardware store, your local Target, but I don't suggest you go to Target because you know how Target is. You go in there, you wanna spend $10 and you end up spending 3,000. So yeah, you can go to Dollar Tree. Nothing wrong with Target. I love Target. That's the problem. So I have a question for everyone watching. Yes. Was there a certain school supply that you guys loved buying at the beginning of the year? Like I loved buying new backpacks and new pens. Like that was my thing. Was there anything that you just loved buying, AB? I loved buying new crayons. Ooh, like new crayons was the best. Like, you know, before they started losing the paper wrapping and before they broke yeah, new pencil smell, new crayon smell, <laughs> everything. So as you stipple, right, you can add different colors. I'm just doing white right now. But when we pull off our contact paper, it's going to reveal the heart. And with all, you can, you know, get this going on. Rick said he liked buying pencil boxes and folders, hands down. Those are good ones. Yeah, book bags were good too. Like, yeah. Book bags are definitely a good one. 
people are saying old school trapper keepers. I may be showing how young I am, but I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? I, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do know what a trapper keeper is. They used to have like, do you know like Lisa Frank? Yes. Yeah. So they would have all these cool designs and you could open up the trapper keeper. It was like a it was like a, like a notebook with the rings. And you open it up and it had like Velcro and it made like a loud noise and it was like cushioned. Oh, okay, I think it I know was, what you're talking about. It was intense. It was a lot going on. There was a lot of features in there and it was pre-tabbed and it was like the first MacBook Pro. <laughs> fully loaded. Like I had a fully loaded Trapper Keeper. So people are, people are saying that they learned how to paint with Jug Monkey paint. That's from another one of our lives with Sonia. Mm. It's an awesome kind of paint. You don't need any prep on the furniture or anything. It's really awesome. Nice. That is cool. If you guys are liking this, please send us hearts and thumbs up. I love all the gardening uh, tips that are on Home Talk because mm -hmm. my, my thumb is not green. <laughs> and what the opposite of green is what, red? Yeah. That is where my thumb is on the color wheel. I'm gonna add some blue in here just to give it a different color. And I'm gonna use, I told you guys you can use different width things just to give it different, you know, texture. So I used the back of my Q tip and paintbrush and a toothpick. So it's up to you, depending on how big or small you want your dot. If you have, if you're doing this with your kiddos, um, I definitely suggest a Q-tip because you know they're gonna, they're like six. They really don't have patience for toothpicks. Yeah, this would definitely be a good project to do with the kids. Yeah. To get them excited about school. Exactly, because before they know it, they're gonna be <laughs> upset that they have to go to bed at, you know, basically 2 p.m. <laughs> that was the worst. Like you knew, like when you first started going back to school and. The sun is still out, so it's like not winter yet. So, you know, your body as a kid is still adjusting. Like, oh my gosh, like just two weeks ago, I was riding my bike outside carefree and now I'm going to sleep and it's not sunset yet. Like, this is terrible. Okay. So Joanne, I think said if you put gems around the heart, that would be really cute. Yeah, that could definitely really be cute. And then the, the awesome thing with this is that you can like customize it however however you want. See, I like playing with different tones and shades, and you could actually, like I'm just using blue and white, but I can mix some blue with my white and make different shades of blue. Yeah, like a home talk book. Yeah. See, a few people are saying this is their first time watching, or they just discovered home talk. If you guys are a first time watcher, um, send us a thumbs up. We're happy and to welcome. have you. And welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Home Talk family. Yeah. Tammy learned how to make a fairy lantern. Was that today, Tammy? Mmm. <laughs> that was earlier today. Oh, so Tammy's an avid watcher. Yes. Shout out to you, Tammy. <laughs> and where is Tammy? Is she in Arizona? Tammy, where are you? Let us know. A lot of people are saying this is so pretty. Thank you. But yeah, the gems would be pretty awesome. And you can add that after it dries. Tammy said it was today that she learned how to make it and she's in Western New York. Uh, Happy to have you, Tammy. In Arkansas, Ontario. Jasmine said add glitter. Ah, uh, when in doubt, add <laughs> glitter. Like glitter is my favorite. The color pink and glitter are like my saving graces in life like when in doubt always add glitter i'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and gonna go to our calendar all right so don't forget to tell us what you guys have learned from home talk i'll be picking a winner at the end and i want to see your awesome ideas yeah. what you guys have learned so going to start cutting our paint chips right you want to do about a square because we're using a basic, this is a very basic picture frame. 
get it? This is 10 by 13, but it can be any size that you would like. And we're literally going to just put our paint chips onto the picture frame. Okay. We have Evelyn from New York City. Hey, Evelyn, you're really close. Hey. Minnesota. Minnesota in the house. Don't forget to share this with your friends, guys. Yeah, if you are ready to go back to school or if you're ready to send the kids back to school, give me a heart. If you are absolutely not prepared, give us some laughs because may the force be with you. <laughs> if you're not ready, it's too late. So you're gonna remove the back of the picture frame right? and the paper that is in the picture frame is going to be our calendar, right? You get this, and you can just put your glass parts on the side, like so. So yeah, you don't have to spend extra money to have a dry erase board because glass works with dry erase markers. Spoiler alert. Now the great thing with paint chips, guess what? They're free. So you can go and get as many as you want. Of course, if it's a smaller, like local one, use some kind of, you know, help them out. Don't, don't take all of them, but the big chains take all of them. Kara says this is genius. Thank you. Thanks, Kara. And what you wanna do, you wanna have 35 squares. So no matter how large your picture frame is or how small, you want to have 35 so you can fit all the months on the calendar because you're just going to keep reusing them every month. You just wipe away the dates and redo the dates. So 35 is the key. You don't want to do 28 because then you're going to just like not have no other part of the calendar. And you can, you can do random colors. You can do ombre. You can do it to match your office, your your kitchen, wherever you put your memos, your bedroom. It's great for dorm rooms as well. So we have crafts for your younger munchkins and your older munchkins. Has anyone started decorating for fall or for Halloween, dare I say? If you have started decorating, let us know in the comments, send us hearts, send us thumbs up. The only thing with this, it is a good amount of cutting to get 35 squares, but I mean, I won't pay you guys through going through 35 squares, but you know what I mean. You need 35. And you need about, not about, you need seven rectangles to go on top of your frame, so you have it for the days of the week. Don't forget to get your answers in for the giveaway, guys. Yes, we what is some winner here soon? What is something that you've learned on Home Talk? Like I mentioned before, gardening is like the best on Home Talk. It makes me feel like I can grow all my own food. And you want to get these about the same size. You can use a ruler if you're really very like precise about it. But I like mine to look art deco. Kara said she learned how to make a pizza oven. Kara, I would love to see a picture of that. Wow, so is it is it going like on a grill or is it yeah, indoor? How did you, how did you like do I that, am Kara? intrigued. I am very intrigued. Yes. And what were some of your favorite subjects in school? Mine was art, obviously. That's a good one. 
Art was one of my favorite subjects, and science. Really? Yeah, science mm -hmm. wasn't my strong suit. Nor was math. Yeah, I was I was a science girl. I did, and I, I liked geometry, algebra, not so much, but geometry. Oof. No. Yeah, that was my square. <laughs> 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 Another mathematician in the house. All right. Rick said he loved math. I was more English, language arts. Yeah, that was cool. But I was like, yeah, I really like science. I used to do all of those like book fairs and get all the things about like uh, dinosaurs and animals and, and sharks and stuff. Like that was Shark Week, all of it. So Kara let jam. us know how she built that pizza oven. Apparently you build a brick square and cut a metal barrel in half and put it over the top. She saw a video of it on Home Talk's Facebook. Mmm. Nice. So, now is that could also be doubled up like as a fire pit? Like, are you just making pizza on this? I mean, I know it's a pizza oven, but like, because I'm thinking that would make some delicious barbecue. Yes, Kara, let us know what else you make. Oven of yours. And where is Kara based? I think Kara's in New York City. Wow, in pizza ovens? Wow, this is, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. See, that's the good thing about Home Talk because, yeah, you feel like, especially when you live in a major city like New York, you feel like, oh, I can't make anything because everyone has like square footage and massive homes. But there is a craft for everyone. There is a home talk for everyone. And Virginia, um, I'm sorry, but she's doing a live video. We want to show you all the steps that are involved. Um, thanks for hanging in there with us. Hey, Virginia. So, I'm cutting some of them, right? And what you want to do is you're going to take some scotch tape. Regular scotch tape. Oh, Kara says she makes quesadillas in it, too. Mmm. Kara, I like your style. Delicious. Just gonna do a tape roll on the back. We have Florida checking in. What part of Florida, Barbara? I'm from Florida. And you're gonna just put your square there. Montreal, Ohio, and And all of these materials you can find, like this dry erase board is less than five bucks. Yeah, yeah, less than five bucks. Wow, Barbara says she's from Springdale, 30 miles from Tampa. Barbara, I'm from Tampa. Basically neighbors. Now with paint chips, with them being free and they have so many different colors, like customizing this is at your oyster. Like you can, the world is at your oyster. You can do whatever shade, ombre, mixed match, everything fall colored. Okay, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven days of the week. Making. We are customizing some of our back to school um, supplies. One, we have a painted pencils and we're doing some watercolor to them just to set our pencils apart from our friends' pencils while we're sitting in class. A painted pencil case and a dry erase calendar made with paint chips and a picture frame. Renee, there is a Home Talk website. It's called hometalk.com. You can see all of the tutorials of projects that people have done. And you can post your tutorials as well. So, also, with this, you want to make sure you do seven across, because there's seven days in the week, and five down. And that will get you 35. You need 35 paint chips to create your calendar. Put it in. 
that space. And you also need seven rectangular rows on top. Could you glue these down? You can glue them down, but the thing is, with the picture frame going on top, it lays pretty flush. I was like, at first, I was like, oh no, it looks like it's coming up, but it's not once the once the glass is actually on top of your picture. No worries, guys. And the thing also is that this is so simple, you can do it with the kids. So you don't necessarily need to make it messy or using glue, you know, you run the risk of it getting like all over the place. You just tape this bad boy down and you're good to go to the next task. So, Do you have a finished one that you can finish? Yes, we do. Oh, we're not going to go through the whole thing. I just <laughs> want to show you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> just wanted to show you some of the steps. Could you use double-sided tape instead of you, having the whole one? You can definitely use double-sided tape. So once you have, once you go across and you have all of that, you can, you will reassemble your frame and then you will have this. So, where's my dry erase? Oh, what is today? Today is the 24th. Look at that. If you guys are loving this, please send us hearts and thumbs up. Let us know if you guys are going to make this. All right. Look. So no more dry erase boards, guys. You really don't have to buy a dry erase board. You can use your picture frame, and you can also just use this to make a memo board. You don't have to do a calendar. You can have your picture frame, and you can use maybe like scrapbooking paper, origami paper, any type of pattern paper, even fabric. And you can put it in between the frame and put your memos. All right, so this is that. So cute. Now we're gonna go back to our pencils, they might need a, another coat of white a little bit. All right, and this is just another quick one. Doesn't have to dry too long because we're gonna put watercolor on top of it. Now that we have these, we're going to get our watercolor paint out. Now this is another customization. You can just get your water, get a paintbrush. I'm going to do pink because pink is life. Hmm. And literally, all you're going to do Just fill your brush with water and let it drip down. And when it dries, it'll have these watercolor patterns on it. And you can layer up your colors. Let it drip down a little bit. Add some more. What are some other things you guys have made? In before I get yeah. the you don't want to miss out this tote bag to carry all your school supplies or any supplies actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Do you have to put a sealer on it? You don't because it's a pencil, it's gonna be sharpened at some point, so it's literally gonna just go down and you know, you just use it as a regular pencil. This one dry. Rick said he would do midnight green, white, and black. Rick, you sound like an Eagles fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, 
let me see. I do have a darker green. It's more like teal, but you know. But this is for you. This is for you, Rick. That sounds like the end of a movie. <laughs> this is for you, Rick. Rick said, go birds. <laughs> Home Talk says, Home Talk Blue. Thanks, Home Talk. <laughs> That's us. Also, what I like, what I put on my pencils, customized watercolor pencils, I put like little phrases at the end. You know, give me some motivation as I am jotting things down. Get some blue in there. Right? Here we go. Here's home talk pencil. Yeah. And with watercolor, because watercolor is the wave right now, everyone's watercoloring everything, but watercolor can seem intimidating. Where you're like, oh my gosh, everyone has like live, laugh, love <laughs> with their watercolor. I want watercolor, but I can't do it. Literally, all you're doing is letting water drip down a pencil. Here, if you guys love home talk, just home talk in general, send us a thumbs up. Send us a thumbs up. Let it drip down. So that's the home top blue one. And I'm gonna just do this multicolor. Seeing a lot of thumbs up. Yeah. We love the thumbs up. Share with your friends. If they have kids going back to school or if you have kids going back to school, these are some projects to get them excited about the new year. And they can put their favorite their nicknames, their BFFs names, it could be like gifts, back to school gifts, all of that. So, so this is pretty. Now, the finished product of those are these. Once they dry, you can really see the these watercolor. Are so cute. And I just wrote some phrases on there. You got this, get it done, don't stop, get it, get it, and flourish. So cute. If you guys love this, please send us hearts. I think these are adorable. And look, now when your kids let their friends borrow a pencil, they can get it back because they'll know it's theirs. Smart. Yes. And now, the pencil case. Because if you have fancy customized painted pencils, you need a pencil case. Here it goes. Ah. Now you have that. Send us hearts for that heart. That's, that's the other side. I added some gold in there, you know, bling bling. Yeah. And this can be any shape that you want because when you use the contact paper, it's, use, it's using it as an adhesive stencil. And you just go around it, and there you go. So cute. All right. Do we have the Home Talk winner? We have a winner. I think All right. It is Kara for the pizza oven. Yes. That is just yes. So cool. I'm gonna give a clap, a hand clap for for Carol because that sounds amazing. And in New York, yeah, yeah I'm impressed. Yeah. So Super Carol, look out for a message from me. I'm Jordan, um, so I'll be messaging you on Facebook. Right? Okay? Yeah. Use a small sharpie if you wanna. If you do wanna further customize your pencils, use a small sharpie or this is like a small artist pen. Yeah, a small sharpie can get in there. Awesome. So. All right. If you guys love dogs also, I just want to mention we'll be live tomorrow with American Kennel Club Ooh. at 1 p.m. Yes. And um, I will be hosting that. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And you want to tell us when we have the next live today? Yes, the next live will be at 5 p.m. 3. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Oh, sorry, 5 p.m. You're right. Bad. Sorry. You're right, you're right, you're right. Like, it's 3 p.m. now. <laughs> It's okay, you know. We we're excited here. We're so excited, so here. We're so excited <laughs> here at Home Talk. But yes, I am A B from abdoeswhat.com, the DIY and lifestyle blog. I hope you guys enjoyed all these back to school crafts and hit me up on the interwebs and make sure you tune in to the next Home Talk at 5 p.m. <laughs> 5 p.m. She's right. Yes, 5 p.m. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>